fed up over the vaccine mandate. More than a thousand city employees protest outside City Hall. Good evening. I'm Christine Johnson. I'm Maurice Dubois. This rally comes just two days after the city announced a new rule requiring all school staff to be vaccinated with no option for testing. And now the city's largest police union is threatening to sue if this mandate expands to officers. CBS 2's Corey James joins us live from Lower Manhattan with more. Corey. And Christina Marie, some of the people we spoke with out here at this rally say they are not against people getting the vaccine. They are just against it being forced on them. And many of them say it is their body and it should be their choice. With signs in hand. More than a thousand people protested mandatory vaccinations outside City Hall Park Wednesday. But New York City is not giving you respect. Among them, this city employee. Not, they're using us as lab rats. MTA train operators. I'm not taking the vaccine. And parents. We don't have long term side effects or risks yet. But this mom and school teacher is standing up for what she believes is right in a big way. She tells us she quit her job days ago because she refuses to be forced into getting the vaccine. It wasn't safe for me to be in a situation where I'm being mandated to put an injection in my body. And I also have two daughters and I don't want them to be wearing masks all day in school. Nationwide cases of the virus in children have surged over the last month, going from around 38,000 at the end of July to more than 180,000 last week. And in New York City, officials reporting 96.9% of COVID hospitalizations are people who are not vaccinated. Details others think are important to remember. If ever you get vaccinated, it should be recovered faster. I believe in science, so I feel good about it. If the city expands mandates, it can expect a fight. The NYPD's Police Benevolent Association is vowing to sue if officers are required to get the shot, saying in part it will, quote, defend our members' rights to make such personal medical decisions. And at this time, the city has not stated whether it will require police officers and law enforcement members to get the vaccine. Meantime, Police Commissioner Dermot Shea says that he supports a vaccine mandate for his members. Reporting live at City Hall Park, Corey James, CBS 2 News. Okay, Corey, thank you.